Another thing that you can do in the workplace to really encourage fun is to initiate a fun committee or squad. I read about one company having a group that they called Ferris Bueller's Day Off Team. And I have to tell you a really cool one that I just learned. I was doing this webinar a few months ago, and one of the groups emailed me and said they started a fun committee called the Crow Team, K-R-O-W, and it's work spelled backwards. And what a fun idea. And the reality is, myself, as a consultant, I can't come into your business and suggest what you do for fun. It needs to be from within. So a great way to do that is getting a team together to decide fun activities. One of the ideas that I love is to simply to watch funny movies. One of the groups that I love to work with, it's an architectural firm, they have a really nice screening room that they have for clients. And what they decide to do is once a month show a fun movie, have their staff come in, have popcorn, and just relax and enjoy. The caveat here and the difficulty is we all have such different sense of humor. And that's difficult because what some people find funny, other people find not remotely. But what research shows is there's so many benefits to laughing and watching funny movies that interestingly as well, people become more creative after watching something funny. Taking a YouTube break. It is wonderful because YouTube has three-minute videos that I am laughing hysterically. I actually, in my monthly newsletter, generally write a few funny videos. And again, what research finds is that it reduces stress, it reduces blood pressure, makes people more creative, and also helps people bond. Research also shows that there's a lot of different things that reduce stress, but one thing that is common in every person is listening to a baby laugh. One gal, after I did a training, came up to me and she let me listen to her ringtone and she recorded her baby laughing, which actually made me laugh at the same time. Find websites that make you laugh. These are mine that make me laugh out loud. They're not for everybody, but they fit my sense of humor. And tag websites, and when you're having a downtime, look at it, especially as a group, and laugh together. Have toys at your desk or workstation, and this is also really fun for your clients as well. When I used to work in a hospital, I would have people come in and meet with me, and every single time, no matter who the person was, they would pick up something from my desk and start playing with it. This is my office right now. How cool is that? Mulder and Scully. And on the left is my hot dog on a stick reminder that that is my backup job if this gig doesn't work out because the hats are happening. This is also in my office, a boa tree. And I have to tell you, you cannot have a bad day if you have a boa tree in your office. Have contests. This, I hope, was an ugly sweater contest. But it's fun to have contests and it's even more fun to involve your customers in them. One of the companies that I work with is actually a doctor's office and there's about eight physicians and they have above their eye chart they have a little basketball net and each patient who comes in gets to throw three throws, see if they make a basket, and the doctors get the point. So the doctors have this competition with their patients, and I think it's really a cute idea. Hula hoops. I was speaking at a biotech firm, and we actually did an activity that involved hula hoops, and not using them in the traditional way. It was a different activity. And so during the break, a lot of people started picking them up and using them president of the biotech firm called me a few months later and he said, you know, they had so much fun with the hula hoops that we actually bought them and put them in the break room and people use them all the time. Dress up. This is my friend Haley and I and we went to an outdoor concert and we decided to wear wigs. Why? Just because. And the thing is, again, you wear something fun, your patients appreciate it. Your customers appreciate it. You need to do what works for your company. For me, this is just another day at the office. Have theme days. Hawaiian, movie star, clash, disco, polka dot day. Really simple. And if you feel a little timid about trying different things, for example, movie star day, polka dot day is really easy to do. 
Clash day, let's be honest. Some people <laughs> practice clash day every day. But it's fun to see people in absolutely mismatched outfits. Workstation dress up days. Boy, I've seen some fun, fun things with that. And again, the reality is oftentimes workstations are not that much fun. So decorating them, since we spend a lot of time in our workstations, why not make it enjoyable? A very common theme for that is holiday, to dress up your workstation during the holiday. And at least that would be a fun thing to try. And you will be surprised. I've worked at companies. I worked at an accounting firm doing some trainings, and I did not think they would go for the workstation dress up. And oh my goodness, they were so awesome and so competitive. Bring back CD handles or alter egos. And those of you who are too young to remember CD handles, it was just fun names that people called each other that was not their real name. And I think it's fun in offices when people make funny names up for people. You need to feel comfortable with it, and you need to get buy-in from everybody. You're never too old to do goofy stuff. I love this gal. This is going to be me when I'm that age, and even the dirty glasses is still going to be me. Sadly, I have that now. The thing is, again, don't think you're too sophisticated or my staff would never buy it. You never know. This is my dental reminder from my amazing dentist, Dr. Ryan Ross, and it made me laugh. Can you imagine this was a postcard in the mail, and how cute is that? Again, fun in the workplace. Have a laugh lunch. A lot of the companies I work with have a brown bag. You bring your own stuff. You sit around. You tell stories. You tell jokes. And people love it. One of the police departments I work at has a fun thing. At the beginning of each shift, they have a dictionary. They open it to a random page, close their eyes, and pick a word. And the first police officer or dispatcher who uses that word correctly over the, um, what is it, the intercom, over the microphone, during the night wins a prize. And I didn't want to ask what the prize was, but I just love the idea of doing that.